Hello everybody, this is Thor Young. I'm a moderator with Bear Bull Traders and I'd like to do a little recap for you today. In today's recap, I'm going to be talking about how to utilize moving average crosses in order to take a trade. I also combine this with using volume by price, um, point of control specifically. I'll talk maybe a titch about that, but most specifically I want to talk about moving average crosses. Now, moving average crosses tend to happen as stocks are reversing direction. Now, generically, when a stock is moving up and it's very strong in that direction, most of the moving averages tend to, you know, follow with. So you'll kind of get this nice pattern where the moving averages are following, you know, and the stock will just, um, you know, pull back to the moving average and then move up and then pull back to the moving average and move up. A nice lightning bolt pattern, if you've heard our own uh, Peter talk about quite well. So one thing that happens, though, is when that stock starts to drop is the moving averages start to cross over, and it gives you a little hint that things are a little bit weaker and maybe topping or bottoming, depending on what's going on. So at Bearable Traders, one of the moving average settings that we really enjoy using are the 9 EMA and the 20 EMA cross. Um, generically used on the 1 minute or the 2 minute to signal that you know reversal as early as possible. Um, and just for a quick second, I'll show you how we got we actually set those up. So in your study config, you can actually go down here to moving average pair, and this is in DOS platform, mind you. Add your moving average pair, and then this is how you can configure it. I'll just pull it right down here in case you want to screenshot that while the video is going. While I'm giving you a chance to screenshot, everyone, um, keep in mind, um, we do have a pre-market show that goes every single morning. Um, you got Carlos, you got Norm, sometimes Peter, those guys rocking out with the best levels, the best stuff. Make sure you like and subscribe to the channel so you can go live with them. Um, it's certainly worth the time. <clears throat> so, as you can see here with um, Excel, our moving average started to cross right here. Now, I didn't get into EXEL. Um, with the open and there was a really good opportunity for a nice play off of the break of pre-market high. Um, I was looking at a different stock at the time and just totally missed that one. It moved right up and by then I didn't really feel too comfortable getting into it because the, uh, the sell-ups and the pullbacks were just a little bit larger than I was willing to deal with at the time. So it came up here, it found a high and then came down and started pushing here and then my moving averages crossed. So looking at that, seeing that we had a high um, volume area here at this price, that's my point of control, right? Um, as we come down here and start to hold underneath the point of control, we actually form a descending triangle right here. So I went ahead and took a short for the break of the triangle and got a nice two to one move all the way down for my first partial at 23.75 um, from basically, you know, just shy of $24. So it was a really nice move. My uh, risk was the loss of the averages really easy play unfortunately though that was all I was gonna get out of it the stock was still strong so it pulled back up and it hit my break even and I went ahead and stopped out now in a lot of instances what you're gonna be inclined to do is flip position because you can really see it's strong but you know sometimes they go up and then they come back down so it's really nice to you know wait for confirmation now remember I talked about that point of control right off of the volume area so when this pulled back up and it held, what I wanted to see was what would happen at this point of control. Was it going to consolidate here and then come back down, or was it going to consolidate and move back up? Sure enough, it consolidated and then moved up to the next tier. Once that happened, I saw large asks appearing on the level 2 at regular intervals. Looked very nice for a sell-up. So I went ahead and went long here at the break of this uh, period here. You can see I had basically a little ascending triangle right there against the top. I went long there for the break. Once again, easy partial, and then move that on up, and actually was able to ride that one up quite nicely. And then, um, just to finish off, um, by the time we got here, I was really down to about 15, 20%, so I'm, I was pretty, actually, I think, yeah, 15, so I was pretty light here. Um, it rolled over, formed a new um, price level, and then it fell off of it, and notice the nice moving average cross signaling the weakness to the downside. Bounced off the 100 moving average where there was a decent sized bid. I decided to add into my position there to see if I could squeeze a little bit more out. I did get a partial, um, but couldn't get back up to my next partial before it eventually stopped and uh, went down, stopped me out at my new average. Um, this right here was just a free roll using my uh, what was left over of my unrealized profit. So I certainly made that nice and uh, risk free. And uh, then we moved down here and now we're banking off of VWAP here, maybe for another move up. But 
this um, hopefully will help you guys out. Um, I've had a couple of uh, requests for moving average pair tutorial, so I really hope that that helps you guys out. Please keep the comments coming on new subjects and suggestions. I really like that. Um, it helps me out a ton to know what you guys are looking for and what you need. So, um, and I'll keep uh, trying to answer those questions. So feel free to uh, like um, if this video did something for you, and, and please interact as much as you want in the comments, and I look forward to talking with you. Hope everybody had a great day, and as always, keep it green. Thanks.